Hi guys, I'm Rick. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making breakfast meatloaf. Alright, I'm starting out with four pounds of pork sausage here. And this is just plain, it's not flavored. So I'm going to season it. First I'm going to crack an egg in here. And I'm not going to put a lot of seasoning in this. But uh, I'm only putting two seasonings in there. Alright, now I'm going to add in some fennel seed. I'd say about a half a teaspoon. And if you don't know what breakfast uh, meatloaf is, you'll soon, soon understand what I mean in a minute. And I'm going to put some rosemary in here, about a half a teaspoon or so. And I'm going to put some breadcrumb in here. This to be a binder to hold together. And this Italian flavor, if you have regular, go ahead and use that instead, but I don't have any regular. So I'm going to get in here and mix this all up. And this is super greasy. And this is the... Um, breakfast sausage or, or sausage like that comes in a tube and I just got four of them and throw them in here and I'm gonna have to add more bread from in here so I'm gonna add more bread from in here finish mixing this up and then I'll be back right now I have my sausage all mixed up and set aside I got this little pan here it's a meatloaf pan off a of QVC it's a Chef Tony one and I'm gonna show you how it works first I'm gonna spray it down with some cooking spray and it's what it suggests in the uh, directions I'm going to sit this little lifter in here. That's how I'm going to get the meatloaf out when it's done. Alright. Now I'm going to go ahead and stuff my meatloaf in there. And if this is too much, I'll just go ahead and I'll freeze the difference and make it up in another time. So I'm going to go ahead and stuff that down in there. And it looks like this just might work out for me. I want to get it down in there in all of the uh, crevices. And like I said, I got this pan off of uh, QVC. It was like $13. It looked pretty neat, so I figured I'd give it a try. All right. All right, now, this also came with this lid. You see how this has a bump out? What you do is you take this, and I'm going to spray this with a little food spray for making, uh, to make cleanup easier. All right. You take this lid, and you push this down in like so, and my meatloaf is just forcing up out all over the place. All right, now you see how I made that little cavity? Let me go a little deeper on that. See how I made that little cavity in there? We're gonna go ahead and stuff that, and I'm gonna put some pancakes in here. Let's see what I can get in there. Two pancakes, and I have some bacon that I fried up earlier. I'm gonna go ahead and load that in there. And I think I'm only going to be able to get two pancakes in there. Maybe I can put another layer in. And I thought, my thinking was that I was going to get a whole pound of bacon in here, but I guess that ain't going to happen. But this will be good just the same. All right. I'm going to take two more pancakes, lay them over that. And what I want to do is take the meat that's left over on the sides and bring that up over top of the filling, like so. Right now that I have my meatloaf covered over with the uh, sausage that was in there, and that was an easy task. This side here is rounded. You take that and you push that down, and that gives you that nice round meatloaf top, which I should have sprayed at because it pulled up a little bit. But that's all right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in a 400 degree oven for a half hour. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to put some uh, maple syrup on top and put it in for another half hour. So it'll bake for an hour total. All right, my half hour is up when I took this out. Now, I have 100% uh, pure maple syrup here. If you can't get that, pancake syrup is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and dump a little bit of this on top. And this is getting nice and golden brown, and it smells delicious. And uh, as you can see, I put a cookie sheet underneath my meatloaf pan, just in case it just would cook over. Okay, now I'm going to put this back in the oven and let it finish baking for another half hour, and then this should be done. All right, I took this out of the oven, my hour's up, and I left it rest for 10 minutes. So I'll just go ahead and see if this pulls out of the pan as easy as they say it does. All right, and it does. Now I'm going to take it off this little steel lifter. Okay, so far, so good. Slide this back. Now let's go ahead and serve this up and see what we got. All right, before I close this video out, I'd like to give a special shout-out to my son Eric's friend, AWOB. How's it going, guy? All right, and I also went ahead and made some hash browns and scrambled eggs for on the side. So there you have it.
breakfast meatloaf. Give this a try. I think you'll like it. And until next time, I'll see you.